Two important words to be familiar with when we talk about refocusing are blur and sharpen. When you blur an image, it means to make it less in focus. To sharpen an image means to make it more in focus. For whatever reason, most Photoshop users tend to blur images more freely than they sharpen them. I think it could be because blurring something that is in focus tends to be easier than sharpening something that is out of focus. It's like trying to make a bad photograph look good. It takes more skill to choose and apply the correct sharpening settings than it does to apply a blur. Blurs can often be applied aesthetically while sharpening is often applied to correct an error. We will mainly be working with blur filters in this lesson, but you should be aware of some of the many ways to adjust blur in Photoshop. Feel free to explore these other options on your own if we don't specifically cover them in the videos. They are the blur tool and the smudge tool which can be found on the tools panel. You can feather the edge of a selection or an object. The blur gallery filters include the field, iris, tilt shift, path, and spin blurs. Other blur filters include average, blur, more blur, box, Gaussian, lens, motion, radial, shape, smart, and surface blurs. We'll now talk about the blur gallery filters. A blur gallery filter is applied by choosing a layer and then going to the filter menu and choosing blur gallery and finally choosing field iris, tilt shift, path, or spin blur. A series of panels will appear that allow customization of the blur. Once all settings have been chosen, users must select OK along the options bar to accept the changes. A great tip here is to convert the layer to a smart object before applying a blur filter and it will become a fully editable smart filter. In the next video, we'll take a look at each one of these filters in the blur gallery and see what each one does.